And it's, it's sometimes it's oh my game controllers are acting up there. Sure, it's that the operator. It was weird. Um, it was not plugged in all the way. What about those coins going up to the light? This thing? Yeah. Hey Bentley, I think I'm seeing things. Okay. It must be vertigo or something. Can you see those crazy blue lights? Really? Really? I'm about this. Master raccoon thieves are able to sense thieving opportunities, which manifest themselves as unexplainable blue auras. Have they made a modern research, version of this? All you have to they do have is not. Get like a remastered yeah, version? Yeah, yeah. It'd be nice if they did or continued the... They've only made three um, games, Game version. sequels of it, yeah. Oops. So he's supposed to follow the blue... Yeah, so that acts as like sneak points or s sneak routes to take to go to the next next adventure. Usually, the game will tell you like if these things are hittable or not. That's another Be thing. Extra careful here, Sly. Break one of those laser beams, and you'll set off the alarms. Not to mention, you'll be fried to a crisp. Okay. How, how is Lady L at this game? I don't know if she's ever played this game before. I like nice how you, I'm going to call her <laughs> no, Lady Inspector L. Inspector Carmelita Fox's office is behind the red door. Carmelita Fox. Does he have a girlfriend? Sly Cooper. Sly Cooper? Mm, probably not until later. I just wanna... Is she a fox? That door she is. Super yeah. Not a raccoon. Sly. Maybe there's a way to get around. <laughs> But those pots of plants, do they have things in them? I... Nope. It's weird because you would think that they would be breakable stuff, but they're not. Yeah, anything that you're walking past. Uh, or you would think they'd highlight it or something. And it's yeah. got like a giveaway of some kind. Oh. oh. I can feel that in my controller. The vibrate? Yeah, one of those things. Sure, this is a felony. Going into a detective's office and destroying their evidence room. But that bottle up there. Way to go, Sly! This is where Inspector Carmelita Fox stashes all her important files. I hacked into the police security mainframe and discovered this vault's combo. Mm -hmm. Try dialing in nine three seven. Niner. Three. Seven. Uh -huh. Why don't they say three or seven or why is it always a niner? Because when nice you say nine you across the radio, mm -hmm. the fire escape, it, and head the it sounds lot, like something else, we'll like mine or um, it, 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 it just was determined that it was uh, not as legible, audible, audible, yeah, as uh, yeah. clearly audible as to what what they were saying so we're talking about aviation stuff yeah, yeah. aircraft or the police Oops. i think say it too but criminal what somebody's calling them names oh, there she is carmelita fox you foolish raccoon i've caught you red-handed ah carmelita i haven't seen you since i gave you the slip in bombay which reminds me you need to return the firestone of india to its rightful owners uh -huh. and seems... i was going to give it to you as a little token a little of russian hey you know that bazooka really brings out the color of your eyes very fetching you think this pistol packs a paralyzing punch you ought to try it packs might a paralyzing snap you out of your punch spree. and give up our little rendezvous plenty of time for that once you're safely behind bars love to stick around and chat but i just dropped by to pick up this case file I think you've had it long enough. She must have gone to the Robin School of Rhymes. 
Stop interrupting. So I want to make sure I get all the coins. I don't I guess I don't have to get all the coins, but I guess as a perfectionist, I always. So she kind of doesn't like him. Yeah, because he's a criminal. Do they ever go to, together to get somebody else that's worse? Mm, yeah. In, 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 in a few, few of these episodes. The exit. Once again, my gang and I had given Inspector Carmelita Fox the slip. The slip. I was surprised to see how well she took it. Finally, the secret police file I'd been searching for all these years. This is a backstory of Sly. I could avenge my family and regain possession of our most valued treasure. It all began when I was just a kid, bouncing on my father's knee. You see, I come from a With long a mask, line uh, of master yeah. thieves who kept all their all secrets of sneaking and stealing an ancient kid. book. Mm -hmm. The Phoebus Raccoon. Anyone who read it learned to be especially sneaky, which is why we specialize in stealing from criminals. After all, there's no honor, no challenge, no fun stealing from ordinary people. Hmm. You rip off a master criminal, and you know you're a master thief. Well, on the night I was supposed to inherit the book, five visitors came unannounced to our door. My father fought to protect us, but the gang of villains known as the Fiendish Five overpowered him. And you never hear about his mom, mother. The Thievius Raccoonus. Fiendish Our Five. family's manual of thieving greatness fell into their filthy hands. They tore the book into five pieces and split it up, each villain disappearing to the farthest corners of the world to commit dastardly crimes. So they stole the, from the Thievius Raccoonus the to do be better there at crime. There are two guys who became my lifelong buddies and trusted crew. Bentley, techno genius and strategist supreme, and Murray, part-time driver and full-time Murray. Together we pledged to track down the fiendish five, avenge my father, and steal back the Thievius Raccoonus. I knew I was about to face the toughest test of my life. On this mission, I would either become a master thief like my ancestors before me, or die, or fail, and allow my family name to bite the dust. Or fail, not die. <laughs> <laughs> What's the difference? Death is certain. <laughs> Failure is not. That was a nice piece of work back there at police headquarters, Sly. Come see well, me. Thank you. Out any Sly Cooper's movies. mother is a minor character the in the Sly Cooper series who is only mentioned a few times throughout the game. The oh, she is only seen in photos on the wall of Sly Cooper's childhood home during flashbacks. She was married to Connor Cooper, and together they gave birth to Sly. Connor Cooper. Well, that's good to know. I've already plotted. Well, I'm already plotted. What's he eating? Oh, you want? <laughs> yes. Well, he's not even sure. Yeah, one. No, I'm good, Bentley. Thank you. See, that'd be cool to make it like an interactive thing where you can actually talk to the character. Ooh. Do what? Video games that you can actually talk to the characters and based on your response, they talk back to you and give different responses. I would like that in the VR world if they can do something like that. About that. Uh -huh. But the thing, I think the thing is like the AI has to be smart enough to know that and not glitch. Mm, yeah, but it would make it interesting even if it's wrong. It's kind of yeah. like talking to Siri. Oh. Sorry, Ryan. As a young man, this hot-tempered frog grew bored of his life of luxury and privilege. On a whim, he tried his hand at a bit of uh, privacy. It's like Cooper's mother was killed in 1992 by the Fiendish Five, along with Connor, her, his father. Oh. Uh, well, I was hoping more of a backstory, like she was also another thieve, thievious raccoonous thief that had special skills. Was off the soggy coast of the Isle of Rat, oh, wow. a small island uncomfortably situated in the middle of the perilous Welsh Triangle. How'd they get there? Just with the van all the way to Europe. Very carefully. In the water or on a ship? On a plane? Not very pain. I was trying to be <laughs> right. <laughs> Okay, so back at it. Hey, Sly, I just 
Yeah, no okay, problem. Just climb it over the obvious tower that's right next to it. Yeah, sure. And like that ladder there? Like that ladder there? So do you know who did the voice for Sly Cooper? No, I don't. Yeah, okay. Max Bentley, I live for this stuff. Yeah, and that's what worries me. Alright. Oh, there's a dude over here. Kevin, a guy named Michael Kevin Miller. Sounds familiar. Very sounds familiar. Voice I'm, actor I'm, and comedian. And podcast host. I should probably know who that is. But I think people are just going to shout at me. Born in 1977. His nickname is The Kevin Miller. The Kevin Miller. Yeah, I think that does sound familiar. I'm, and I think people are going to scream at me for not knowing why. Okay. How did you know that? Uh, I know. Yeah, that's just exactly what they're going to say to me. Why did you know that? to go I gotta get all duh actually I don't need all the coins I just need those bottles hey pay attention I am paying attention no you're not I'm looking up sly information for our fandom <laughs> what's that sly. seagull yeah step and you'll be subjected to acute combustion you done whining Let's go. I keep combustion. How? Keep you alive. So, how does that burn me? I don't. For you, I launched these signal repeaters throughout Raleigh's fortress. Get close to one. Get close to one. Checkpoint your progress. Oh, thank nice. you. I always want a checkpoint. So I need to avoid these lights. Boom. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. I bet you if they made it today, it would be so easy. Probably. A new version of it. Oh, bam. What's that thing? The checkpoint. Oh. If I get close to it, it takes a picture of me and I... Proves save, that you were there. Yeah, save progress. According to my amphibial positioning system, that big blimp is where Raleigh is hiding out. You know, that blimp looks more like a machine than a hideout. Looks You're like right, a submarine. Fly. It does. That is a storm machine. It's a storm machine. It stops raining around here. That explains all the wrecked ships. But why would Raleigh want bad weather at his own hideout 24-7? Oh, no. The rain or shine, I'm going to steal my family's book back. And if Raleigh gets in my way, it's on. Maybe he enjoys rain, you know, like relaxing and taking a nap. Possibly. Do, I guess frogs in theory like wet area environments, right? Cause that's who we're, that's the boss that we're trying to, the first boss that we're trying to fight. Right. So, Oops. does this, maybe you're just so good at it. This game, like if you fail, does it make you go back and start over again? I think so it goes back to that checkpoint. But I don't know if you start all over. That's just the aspect I don't like about some games. Button. Like starting all over. Yeah, making you go start back all over again. I don't mind going back through the, the one thing that I like this rotating bridge you're getting ready to go across. Like, if you can't do that, then just set you back on the back yeah. side, but not like 40 seconds back. Yeah, I think, and like I said, those, those checkpoints are for, like, for example, if I died here, it will probably take me back towards that checkpoint unless I find another one. Oop, like that. So let's see if that theory is right. Oh. <laughs> As you just died off the road. See? I'm right all the way back here to that checkpoint. Yeah, so... Oh, I get a horse. You already went through 
this and one of the things. Yeah. Now I got to do it all over again. Yeah. It's like, no. No, no, I already went through here. I don't want to have to do this again. <laughs> well, I guess that's part of the challenge. What's that thing there? It's a hook. Help me. So, I guess that's one of the just one of the challenging part is just like if it takes you like if we lot if we died here and it took me like right here. Mm -hmm. I guess there's no real challenge of that for you to learn from your experience. At least that's how I would take it. Now, if it went all the way to the beginning of the level, then yes, that would be great. So right now I got a checkpoint, so now I don't have to go through that again. Excuse me. Wow. So not necessarily worth getting all the coins because that sets you up for dying. Right. For, from something else. That large vault has got to be somehow uh, related to those Try 937. I don't. If you can locate all the clues oh, that's right. That's what. That's why I'm getting all these uh, bottles. Mm -hmm. It gives me the clues for these vaults. There's more up there. How do I go up there? Where? Up there on those towers. Where that thing's bouncing around. Yeah. I don't remember up how. Up there, bounce up on the rock thing. That, that thing. I don't. I just don't remember. Oh, uh, now I do. Oh, just across those, the rope. Yeah. Cable, whatever it is. Ah. Okay, grab that. Come up here. Jump. Still need four more. Oops. Oh, bad camera. Who's operating it? <laughs> Me. I am. Did we miss two more? Did I miss? 18 out of 20. Should I go back? So there's not like a map thing you can pull up to see where something is? Nope. Unfortunately, there is not. Some, you can't open this vault without fighting some games the have the that. Uh, I'll tell you what. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go find it. I don't see any more bottles. You know what? For game's sake, let's just move forward. I've done my best. <laughs> no, it's on 20. Is there one right there in that thing? In it's this a... bus? It's a key. Yep. A little bit too broad for that, but... Looked a lot like closer before. On this yeah. Point. If Raleigh's really as smart as his police files suggest, then that's where I'll find him. Wonderful idea, but your plan is flawed. Why? Because Why? it's impossible to get near him. To access Raleigh's blimp, you would have to sneak through that high voltage power tube. To do that without getting electrocuted, you'd have to destroy that power generator. And to do that, you'd need two more of Raleigh's treasure two keys. Two more Raleigh. guarded. Interesting. So when are you going to get to the impossible part? Fine. But I warned you. I marked <laughs> the areas you need to hit with holographic So I, I'm Follow remembering where Thanks. in Don't each boss location, once you make it to this area... This is kind of the loading area where um, if you see those green uh, portals, they take you to these mini levels that you have to complete to get the keys in order to open to the boss fight. Right. So, um, so there's five total. So there's five levels total of bosses. This is just one of the bosses level. And then there's like four more after this. So... Here's another question. When you stop there and we're standing around, looking around and talking to me, uh -huh. is there a timing element that it'll time out if you don't move? No. 
controller's been disconnected. Uh, I, I connect back. And boop. Cool. Uh, so, like, if I don't move here mm -hmm. for a while, are you saying the game will bug out? Yeah. I think the program, yes. If it was just a regular PlayStation, I don't think it would. Um, but I'm, I'm using PlayStation <laughs> now to play this game. A horseshoe. So what this does, anytime I get hit, or if I fall, it should save me. And I got a gold one, so that means I can get up to two hits. I've got a golden ticket. Horseshoe. All right, so this is the first episode of many episodes to... Um, oops, I did not mean to press that. Many no. episodes to... Oops, I didn't mean Stop to push that. Okay, here we go. Uh, so this is the first episode of a long gameplay that uh, Dad and I will be doing. Um, so uh, just keep a watch for the next episode, and we'll catch you guys later. Yep. Bye. And Bye. that's to say, don't forget to check out our latest podcasts and your yes. latest blog. Yes. Uh, all can be found at www.kenscrew.com. Punto com. Punto com for you Spanish speakers out there. That's right. Um, so we will catch you on the next one. 